This is the best way to rank up in the brand new season of Fortnite. We're going to go over the fastest way to rank up and what weapons you should use in this video. All right, so this might be a little bit blurry on your guys' screen. We're going to land at this spot, Underworld. I want you to land specifically at this circled spot right here, and I'm going to tell you why. When landing at this spot right here, you're going to get one Avengers super chest. Keep in mind, it is not a 100% spawn rate, but if you drop down the mountain, there's an island with a chest on it, and you can rotate back if you're really conned. But if you're not, you could just go through the building like I am doing right here, and there's going to be another entrance on the complete top now me personally i like the w key on the dead side of zone that's how i ended up in this situation so i'm gonna let you guys watch this gameplay of me fighting this guy and just show you how i utilized the guns that i had Something I want you guys to notice is how calm I stayed in that situation even though he had a height. I did the best I could to challenge him up there and I utilized the new arsenal weapon that we have because it is the most broken thing in the game at the moment. I also dropped the Captain America shield for the automatic gun. The reason for that is because it takes 5 damage off of your opponent automatically so carrying it is just a no brainer. Right now I'm still continuing to rotate on the dead side of zone. I'm actually in the center of the actual circle though. I'm rotating over here specifically because the medallion was just randomly on the floor and surprisingly there was nobody baiting it. It's only the stealth medallion so it's not that useful but I'm going to show you guys how to utilize it properly in this next fight. You've built on the wrong guy. This is how you abuse a weapon. That's how you abuse a weapon. So with this medallion, you can't really overuse it, or at least I wouldn't recommend overusing it. Notice how I only used it for like a few seconds just to confuse him on where exactly I was. And then I immediately came out and hit him with the shotgun, which put the fight in my favor because he was at a health disadvantage. Now I'm going to put this fight in fast motion because it was a completely useless fight that I did not need to take. And all I ended up doing was wasting mats and wasting health. It was completely useless and you don't need to take fights like this. One eternity later. Now even though I got a kill, I'm sure you guys can see why this fight was useless. There was multiple third parties. I'm lucky to make it out alive. I am also lucky that this guy had the best heals in the game so i can make it out his own this is just the best case scenario you should not push a fight like this you should just rotate in the zone or rotate somewhere besides what i did in my personal opinion this loadout is the best loadout you can carry at the moment in order to maximize your points in solos and possibly even duos rolling up to this fight i want you, you guys to let me know in the comments what you think i could have personally done better i know what i could have done but i want to see if you guys notice it too because if you can notice what i did wrong you can also vod review your own mistakes and notice what you did wrong as you get better if you vod review or and you notice your own mistakes it's only going to have one outcome and you're going to be better off for it i tried to utilize the war machine mythic as much as, as i could here because I realized this player was actually decent and when I was building, he was just countering everything I was doing. So when it came to the explosions and all that, he didn't really know what to do.
He put himself in a very bad situation when he armored up everything except for his floor. I don't know why he wouldn't armor up his floor, but it was it probably would have been the smartest thing for him to do. Now I ended up just taking a car and playing the edge of zone the rest of this game, but notice how I'm using the invisibility cloak in order to get a decent position and take height. But once I was scanned, I actually took height because everybody knew where, or he knew where I was at already. But I did end up getting a kill because he was trying to take out as well. I'm trying to maintain height right here because it's the better play, but I do end up getting knocked down. I did. I am trying to utilize the new War Machine Mythic too because it is freaking annoying and it just shreds your health and builds. I know if he runs out of builds, then I obviously have the advantage, but I don't have much max myself, so I'm trying not to waste too many. Go ahead and watch the rest of this gameplay. I hope you guys did enjoy the video, and I would really appreciate if you guys left me a like and subscribed because I stream every single day. Let's go, bro! Let's freaking get it, chat. The most unskillful win in Fortnite ranked. Let's freaking go, bro. Hit that freaking like button if you haven't already. Let's get it, chat.